If you like the millions of other performers that are streaming their content through platforms such as Facebook Live or YouTube Live during the global pandemic, if you're anything like me, you're probably missing the instant feedback that you get from a live audience as you're performing. Well, I figured out a way how to actually still stream your content through platforms such as Facebook Live or YouTube, and yet still see the faces of your audience and your loyal fans as you're actually performing. If you want to learn how to do that, I've got just the setup for you. So stick around, we're going to show you how to do it right now. Hey, my name's Stuart Beebe and thanks for watching. So I'm going to take you through the steps now as a performer, what you're going to need to do in which to do your performance and also to get the live audience participation so you can see their faces uh, as you're performing. Um, now, some people might ask, well, why not just do it through Zoom? Well, the thing is with that, of course, if you are a performer with quite a large audience, uh, Zoom limits the number of participants for a start. And you may just want to have the Zoom maybe for your VIP room or your, you know, your best friends uh, and family whilst you perform through either YouTube Live or Facebook Live out to your potentially global audience. So this tutorial is going to show you exactly how you pull the two in together. And what you're going to need first and foremost is some software called OBS Studio. And um, the OBS Studio is really is what is going to cement all this solution together. But I'm going to take you through step by step now exactly what you're going to need and the steps you take and how you design your canvas so you can do your first broadcast live and so that you can see the faces of your uh, your best, most loyal fans. So uh, please follow along and I hope you find this interesting and don't forget to give this a thumbs up and even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Once we've uh, downloaded OBS which is free you're going to see a canvas that's going to look just like this and the first thing we're going to do is start a scene. So I'm going to call this uh, virtual festival. Then we need to start adding sources into our scene. Uh, we're going to make Zoom our first source. So I've just started my Zoom meeting. So assuming you already have a Zoom account, uh, just on that, by the way, if your performance is longer than 40 minutes, you will need to get a paid Zoom account because a free account with Zoom will only limit your uh, meeting for 40 minutes. So check out the plans that Zoom offer according to what your budget is and also how, how large your potential audience is here. So we're gonna add Zoom in first. We're gonna get a window capture here. We call this Zoom. We're gonna select Zoom from our audience. Here is all the windows that I have open underneath this uh, uh, OBS. We're gonna choose Zoom there and we're gonna click OK. All right, so I've chosen Zoom as the, um, as the window capture and what OBS will allow you to do is to select how large, by just dragging this here, how large you want uh, the window to be. So I'm gonna put it here over in the top corner for now. An important thing to point out here, here is the, the default setting for this. Uh, if you double click into here, you'll see the capture method is automatic. So this is uh, really important that you choose this option here, which is the Windows Graphic Capture. And then what that will do is then open up the um, webcam or whatever you're, the device you're using to capture your video in Zoom. So now you can see that's all set there. So I, like I say, I'm gonna put that up there for now. So that's the Zoom meeting part. The next thing we're gonna do is add in another window capture, which is gonna be, I use Facebook Live for my broadcast, my DJ sets. So I'm gonna choose Facebook live and we're going to choose the window there for Facebook. You're going to need to crop this down uh, to a point where you can just see the chat. So when I'm DJing I like to see the the chat happening as I'm uh, performing. Um, so what you need to do is to put this in a place there and by pressing the shift key you can then crop this down to, to size here. Now obviously I haven't got a, um, a live stream going right now, so what I'm gonna do, let's just get this down here, there we go. What I'm gonna do so you can kind of get the idea is I'm just, you won't have to do this piece, so I'm just gonna add uh, a snapshot, uh, an image of the chat as if it would be happening uh, right now if I was performing right now. So I'm gonna choose image, like I say, you're gonna, not gonna need to uh, do this piece here because this is just to give you the graphical uh, idea right so I've snapshotted that so I'm going to shrink this down and just put it in over here like that so you can put this obviously I mean, you know the canvas really is yours to design as, as you wish but this is where I tend to put mine over here in the bottom right this now is going to 
allow people in Facebook or your YouTube to have the, uh, the ongoing chat and the banter that they do while you're performing, which is great. Just to recap then, at the top right I've put my, my Zoom meeting, just below that I've put my Facebook live chat. And also just to give you the representation of uh, the, the Zoom meeting in action, image. again this is just for the purpose of the demonstration here, I'm going to add this Zoom meeting here and just cover me up so that again you're going to get the idea here of what's going to potentially be happening. So here's all my loyal fans, my good friends. <laughs> here having fun on a Friday night while I was performing. Now you get the idea. So imagine now you've got the, the Zoom going, you've got people joining the meeting and this uh, top right corner here is now going to start filling up with your friends, family, loyal fans, whatever, whoever you want to invite to the Zoom part. At the same time of course you may go out live uh, streaming through your uh, streaming of choice. All right, so we've got that set there now. So now I'm gonna add a capture device. So this is obviously gonna be me performing, whatever your, or you performing, whatever your uh, performance is. Okay, so we're gonna now add a capture device, video capture. So I've done a video on how to add a DSLR or a, a, a GoPro camera to your uh, performances uh, and to stream through those devices rather than through a little webcam or your phone. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out, I've, I've done one earlier, so check in the link there for, to see that video, just to show you the setup that you're gonna need to introduce either a DSLR or a GoPro camera to your performances. We're gonna choose this guy here, and you can see it's come straight in, it's defaulted to my DSLR, which I'm broadcasting here on. So we're gonna shrink this down now, and put that in there. I'm gonna put the zoom meeting image over the top there. So like I say, the, the order, the stack here in our sources is gonna, it's gonna layer it as you, as you design it around. This is the performing window now that I put in. It's the main capture device that you're looking through here. Top right, I've got my uh, Zoom meeting attendees. And then at the bottom right, I've got the, the Facebook live chat going. Now really some finishing touches here that I would suggest is, I mean, I will add a logo in. So if I add my logo, I can put a, an image that in it always comes in large you just have to grab these things here and just shrink it down a bit just crop it down okay and we're gonna put that in there you can also add some uh, some text as well uh, you know really OBS uh, studio is a real fun bit of software and it's free so uh, help yourself with what you want to do you can be as creative as you want so let's add some text here I'll give you some idea about the text uh, we're going to say, uh, you know, join the chat. Okay, so we're going to join the chat and we'll actually say join the chat. Um, so we're going to, and you can choose which font you want, whatever suits your brand, um, but we're going to keep it fairly simple for the purpose of this demonstration. So we're going to put that down in this little box down here. Now what we can do is just, again, a little finishing touch here. We uh, right click here, we can add filters on this. So if I wanna add a filter, let's say I wanna scroll it, I choose the scrolling feature, do okay. And I can choose the speed in which I wanna do the um, scroll there. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna need to give some space in that join the chat. So after the T, if I just do, some space bars, you can see it starts making sense now. Okay, so I hope you can start to see how this can be quite fun when you're performing. You imagine now you've got your uh, you guys up in there giving you a cheers when you're performing. Uh, and uh, of course you will get some delay, by the way, I should point out there. So when you're streaming, of course, there is probably a maybe five, sometimes 10 second delay for what you're actually doing to, to what your audience is seeing. So just bear that in mind. But nevertheless, I still think it's fun and a great addition there to have your loyal fans and your audience there while you're performing. Plus, you have the option there to add your uh, streaming chat as well. And that, as I say, that could just be out to anybody that's uh, decided to check in to watch you perform uh, your show. So hopefully that's helped and I look forward to seeing your performances. I'd love to hear your comments in the chat, so please, uh, please uh, add some comments if you have any advice. I'd love to hear that too. Uh, but uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also check out the other links there which I've done to really enhance your Zoom meetings and bring in DSLR cameras and uh, GoPros, etc. like that. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.